Welcome to Tech and Trek, the channel where history meets innovation and stories of human endeavor light the way to the future. In today's episode, we are setting sail on a voyage through time and technology. From the steam engines of the past to the cutting edge advancements of today, our journey is bound by the desire to overcome the impossible. The Panama Canal, a marvel of engineering and a testament to human will, serves as our guide. As we navigate through this iconic waterway's past, present, and future, we uncover the enduring spirit of invention that drives us forward. So tighten your seatbelts and prepare for an enlightening expedition where every discovery tells a story and every story inspires a new horizon. Welcome to our journey through history and innovation, where we explore monumental engineering feats and the relentless human spirit that powered them. Today, we embark on a story of epic proportions, the creation of the Panama Canal. This tale is not just about connecting two oceans, but about connecting past achievements with future possibilities. Imagine a world where geographical barriers no longer dictate the flow of our endeavors, where steam power once paved the way, now digital and green technologies are setting new courses. Join us as we delve into the stories of visionaries who saw beyond the horizon and the modern tech that continues to expand our boundaries. Stay tuned as we uncover the layers of history, technology, and human ambition that have carved pathways through continents and into the future. The Panama Canal, a 50-mile marvel of engineering, slices through the Isthmus of Panama, connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Conceived in an era when the power of steam was reshaping the world, its completion was a testament to human ingenuity and determination. The idea was audacious to carve a waterway across a continent, drastically reducing the maritime journey between the east and west coast of the Americas. The construction of the Panama Canal was marked by extreme challenges, including treacherous terrain, debilitating diseases, and the sheer scale of the engineering required. However, the vision behind this massive undertaking was clear, to create a global shortcut that would revolutionize trade and military strategy. It was a project born from the dreams of kings and brought to completion by the efforts of engineers, doctors, and laborers from around the world. The canal's history is a saga of human triumph over adversity, a narrative of overcoming the odds through innovation, technology, and sheer will. The Panama Canal not only transformed global trade routes, but also marked a significant leap forward in international engineering cooperation and technological advancement. The idea of a canal through Panama dates back to the early 16th century, when the Spanish crown first considered it. The terrain of Panama, characterized by dense jungles and swamps, posed a formidable barrier, but the potential benefits of a direct maritime route were irresistible. This early interest laid the groundwork for future attempts, although it would take centuries before the technology and political will could align to undertake such a project. In the 19th century, the development of steam-powered ships and the expansion of global trade networks revived interest in a Central American canal. Numerous surveys and studies were conducted by various countries, each assessing the feasibility of slicing through the isthmus. The French, fresh from their success with the Suez Canal, were particularly keen to replicate their triumph in the Western Hemisphere. However, the early exploratory missions often underestimated the challenges posed by the Panamanian terrain and climate. Malaria and yellow fever decimated crews, and the dense jungle and mountainous regions made initial surveys both difficult and dangerous. These early endeavors set the stage for one of the most ambitious engineering projects of the 20th century. Ferdinand de Lesseps, the charismatic French diplomat and engineer, was instrumental in the construction of the Suez Canal, which had dramatically shortened the sea voyage between Europe and Asia. Buoyed by this success, de Lesseps was eager to replicate his triumph by constructing a sea-level canal in Panama. In 1881, the French Panama Canal Company was formed, and work on the canal began amidst great fanfare and optimism. De Lesseps, renowned for his determination and vision, disregarded the initial surveys that recommended a lock-based canal due to the varying elevations. Instead, he insisted on a sea-level canal similar to Suez, underestimating the vastly different conditions in Panama. This decision would ultimately lead to significant engineering challenges and escalating costs. The enthusiasm and spectacle around the canal's commencement 
attracted a host of engineers, workers, and investors. De Lesseps reputation and the potential to alter global trade routes drew international attention, setting the stage for what was expected to be another monumental achievement. As the French endeavor progressed, the initial excitement soon gave way to disillusionment. The project was plagued by poor planning and engineering challenges. The dense jungle, rainy seasons, and the rugged terrain proved much more formidable than the sandy deserts of Suez. Excavation was slowed by frequent landslides and equipment failures, leading to costly delays. The human cost of the project was staggering. Tens of thousands of workers succumbed to malaria and yellow fever. The lack of effective medical knowledge and sanitary practices turned the construction sites into breeding grounds for disease. The death toll mounted, casting a dark shadow over the project and dampening the spirits of those involved. By 1889, the French effort was in shambles. Financial mismanagement and corruption scandals further undermined the project, leading to its eventual collapse. The company went bankrupt, leaving the canal incomplete and tarnishing the reputation of Ferdinand de Lesseps. The dream of a French canal in Panama had turned into a nightmare, setting the stage for an American intervention. In the wake of the French failure, the United States saw an opportunity to take over the canal project. Influenced by the burgeoning doctrine of American imperialism and the strategic military and economic benefits of a canal, the U.S. negotiated the rights to finish the canal. In 1904, under the leadership of President Theodore Roosevelt, the U.S. officially took control of the canal zone. This transition marked a shift in approach. The U.S. brought not only financial backing, but also significant technological advancements. American engineers, learning from the failures of the French, proposed and implemented a lock-based canal system. This was more suited to the geographical and climatic challenges of Panama allowing for controlled and staged handling of the varying elevations. The project was now under the supervision of John Frank Stevens and later George Washington Goethals, both of whom were instrumental in reorganizing and pushing forward the massive engineering effort. Their leadership brought a new vigor to the project, characterized by better planning, technological innovation, and a more systematic approach to tackling the monumental task. One of the most critical shifts in the American phase of the canal construction was the approach to medical issues. Dr. William Gorgas, appointed as the chief sanitary officer, implemented rigorous health measures that dramatically reduced the incidence of diseases such as malaria and yellow fever. His strategies included extensive mosquito control efforts, drainage of stagnant waters, and widespread sanitation practices. Gorgas's efforts required significant resources and faced initial skepticism, especially from those who doubted the link between mosquitoes and disease. However, his persistence and eventual success in controlling the spread of disease proved pivotal. The reduction in worker mortality and morbidity rates not only saved thousands of lives, but also ensured a steady progress on the construction work. The medical victory in the Panama Canal Zone is often hailed as one of the greatest public health achievements of the time. It not only allowed the completion of the canal, but also had lasting impacts on medical science and public health strategies worldwide. Through these efforts, the canal zone transformed from a death trap into a more habitable and manageable working environment. The engineering solutions implemented in the Panama Canal were nothing short of revolutionary. The canal's design included an intricate system of locks, which are essentially water elevators for ships. These locks raise ships from sea level up to the level of Gatun Lake and then gradually lower them back to sea level on the other side. The Miraflores and Gatun locks are particularly notable for their size and the engineering ingenuity they represent. Additionally, the construction of the Gaylard Cut, which involved slicing through a mountain range, was an epic feat of excavation. It required the removal of millions of cubic meters of earth and rock and was one of the most challenging segments of the canal construction. The use of dynamite and steam shovels, along with the introduction of rail systems for removing debris, exemplified the advanced technology and planning involved in this project. These engineering marvels not only facilitated the transit of vessels between two major oceans, but also showcased the potential of modern engineering. The successful completion of the locks and cuts not only demonstrated human ingenuity, but also set new standards in engineering that influenced future projects worldwide. 
The construction of the Panama Canal was an international effort that drew workers from across the globe. These laborers, often from the Caribbean, Europe, and the United States, faced harsh conditions, long hours, and significant risks. The work was grueling, with shifts lasting up to 12 hours in the sweltering heat, surrounded by dangerous machinery and unstable terrain. The toll on human life was immense. It is estimated that over 25,000 workers lost their lives during the French and American construction phases due to accidents, disease, and other causes. This stark number highlights the human cost of constructing what was to become one of the world's most strategic waterways. The sacrifices of these workers are an often overlooked but crucial part of the canal's history. Despite the harsh conditions, the canal also brought together a diverse workforce, fostering a unique cultural exchange and camaraderie among the laborers. This melting pot of cultures contributed to the unique social fabric of the canal zone, influencing its development and legacy. The workers' contributions and sacrifices are an integral part of the narrative that underscores the human element behind the technological achievements. On August 15, 1914, the SS Ancon made the first official transit through the Panama Canal, marking the culmination of decades of effort and the beginning of a new era in maritime travel. The opening of the canal significantly shortened the sea voyage between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, eliminating the need to navigate the treacherous waters around the southern tip of South America via the Strait of Magellan or Cape Horn. The impact on global trade was immediate and profound. The canal allowed for quicker and more cost-effective shipping of goods worldwide, boosting international trade and economic integration. It also strategically positioned the United States as a dominant force in global maritime operations, enhancing its military and commercial reach. Today, the Panama Canal continues to be a vital artery in global trade, accommodating tens of thousands of vessels each year. The success of the canal's operation has prompted several upgrades and expansions over the years, adapting to the increasing size of modern ships and the demands of international trade. The ongoing significance of the canal is a testament to its initial vision and enduring impact on global commerce. In recent years, the Panama Canal has faced new challenges, including competition from alternative routes and the need to accommodate ever larger ships. In response, a massive expansion project was completed in 2016, featuring new locks that allow the passage of larger vessels, known as new Panamax ships, this expansion was critical in ensuring the canal's continued relevance and efficiency in the face of modern demands. Moreover, the canal's operations have had to adapt to the complexities of modern environmental and geopolitical pressures. Issues such as water conservation, climate change impacts, and regional stability play increasingly significant roles in its management. The canal's administrators are constantly seeking innovative solutions to these challenges, ensuring that the waterway remains sustainable and effective. The Panama Canal's ability to adapt and evolve reflects its ongoing importance in global trade and international relations. As it navigates the complexities of the 21st century, the canal continues to be a symbol of human ingenuity and a critical asset in the global transportation network. Its story is far from over, as it continues to impact worldwide shipping and international economics. As we journey through the storied history of the Panama Canal, we're reminded of the extraordinary blend of past achievements and future possibilities. In this special segment, Tech and Trek, exploring the past powered by the future, we delve into how technology and human endeavor have continuously shaped this monumental structure. From the steam-powered excavators of the early 20th century to the advanced robotics and AI-driven systems of today, technology has always been at the forefront of maintaining and enhancing the canal. Looking ahead, the integration of cutting-edge technologies such as autonomous vehicles, predictive maintenance using IoT sensors, and advanced environmental monitoring systems promise to further revolutionize the efficiency and sustainability of the canal. These technological advancements are not just maintaining the canal, they are redefining its role in global trade under new global pressures and opportunities. As we stand on the cusp of future explorations, the Panama Canal serves as a profound example of how technological innovation and historical legacy can coalesce to forge a path forward. It challenges us to think about how we can apply the lessons of the past to navigate the future, ensuring that we trek not only with ambition, 
but with caution and foresight. The canal's ongoing evolution from a mere maritime shortcut to a global logistical hub encapsulates the spirit of tech and trek, where history informs innovation and innovation preserves history. As we conclude our journey through the transformative history of the Panama Canal, we are inspired by the profound interplay between past achievements and future aspirations. This episode of Tech and Trek has not only revisited the monumental steps taken to carve out this engineering marvel, but also illuminated the path that lies ahead. The canal, a testament to human ingenuity and determination, continues to evolve with the integration of state-of-the-art technology, ensuring its relevance and efficiency in the modern era. As we chart the future, let us carry forward the spirit of innovation and collaboration that the Panama Canal exemplifies. It stands not just as a conduit for maritime trade, but as a beacon of progress, urging us to think boldly and act wisely in our continuous quest for advancement. Join us next time on Tech and Trek, where we will explore more wonders of technology and history, understanding how each step we take is deeply rooted in the lessons of the past and aimed towards a brighter, more sustainable future. The Panama Canal stands as a monumental achievement in engineering and human perseverance. Its construction was a saga of triumph over natural and human-made challenges, reshaping global maritime routes and having a lasting impact on international trade. The canal's story is one of vision, innovation, and transformation, embodying the spirit of an era and the persistence of those who dared to dream big. Today, the canal continues to facilitate a significant portion of world trade supporting economies and industries worldwide. It serves as a reminder of what can be accomplished with vision, courage, and collaboration. As we look to the future, the Panama Canal's legacy inspires new generations of engineers, policymakers, and leaders in the ongoing quest for progress and connectivity. We invite readers to reflect on this remarkable feat of human ingenuity and to consider how it continues to influence our world today. The Panama Canal is not just a channel between two oceans. It is a bridge between past achievements and future possibilities. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the history and impact of the Panama Canal. If you've enjoyed exploring how technology and perseverance have shaped our world, don't forget to hit the like button. It helps us bring more fascinating stories like this to you. If you're new here, consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell to stay updated with our latest adventures in technology and history. Every subscribe means a lot to us and keeps our channel growing and our community thriving. Share your thoughts and any topics you'd like us to explore next in the comments below. Stay curious, keep exploring, and until next time, keep trekking the tech.